Greetings! We're back with a Fallout London update video. Welcome back to Old Blighty, it's me, your girl, Letitia. Now let's set the groundwork for things to come, shall we? Firstly, we're back into the swing of things in regards to our public relations, and we hope to be able to bring you these videos every quarter. That way you'll get to see a fair bit of what we're doing, and it also means our media team don't have to panic about making a video for you all. Speaking of media, here's some of the work made by our audio guy Kyle. This track is called Syndication, and it'll be playing around the area of the Isle of Dogs, which in our mod will be defined by its brutalist architectural theme, and due to your feedback, this time I'll shut up and let you hear it. been doing us proud and we're putting up tracks on SoundCloud every other day. So check that out if you'd like to hear the full track, as well as the many others that he's done. And it's not just tracks that we've been getting out. Since our last update video, we've been very busy releasing things. For those of you who aren't on our Discord, which you should be, click this link and join us. Go, go! Either way, we've posted up our release roadmap. So far we've released the M72 Gauss Rifle and the M2 Rifle for Phase 1. And we got the Nexus Hot Files both times, too. Also, we started into our Phase 2 and have so far released 10 Penny Airlines, which brings an immersive trader, the Sneering Imperialist, to the Commonwealth for you to get new released items. The Reds and Royals, which brings a Royal Guard uniform and Cable Street Woes, which brings a new sleek and sexy outfit, complete with... What the hell? Jiggle titties. Ah, <sighs> boys. We also hit the hot files consistently with our releases, and even made mod of the month twice. We hope our next ones are just as popular. Now those of you on our Discord will know about our Can You Guess What It Is Yet challenge. It's our little competition that lets users guess a little bit of leaked content with the reward of temporary development access and a name on our school board. This has been going fantastically since its inception, apart from the haters. You know, haters gonna hate. And we want to thank you all for playing. I'm proud to be able to show you that the school board is now in-game, so your names will be a permanent feature of our mod. Keep guessing and you might be able to knock McCabby off the top post. Please, please do. He's like the old man who always sits at the bar at Weatherspoons. Help us! Let's see some of the artwork we've released through Can You Guess What It Is Yet? And yes, I will say it with that exact inflection every time I read it. And we'll also have a look at some, uh, some new stuff as well, shall we? Such as you, 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 not you, you, and you. Time to explain to you all about a faction we've got fully fleshed out. Camelot. Camelot is best described as taking the Arthurian romances, World War II British commandos, and Churchill's war room into a blender, then adding a little bit of French partisan and James Bond in for a garnish. They're a democratic movement which uses Arthurian law and heraldry as shorthand to convey their ideas. The leader, codename Arthur, is the pure personification of this. Agent Merlin makes up the veteran aspect of the movement, bringing his hundreds of years of post-war survival and pre-war SAS training to the wastelands of Old Blighty to make sure that Camelot is operating as best as it can be. Next is Agent Percival, or Percy to his friends. He's the man that helps Camelot act in the shadows by organising them from afar. Notice a likeness to anyone? This guy was obviously inspired by the famous wartime British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Artworks done by Tony Sart and Tolly Ammy. Switching over to something completely different. And now for something completely different. We got told that you want to see more in-game footage, so ask and you shall receive. Welcome to Camden! Home of the pistols and a small slice of civilization outside the walls of Westminster, where the other boroughs of London are ruled by gang leaders, 
warlords and autocrats, the punks of Camden have long since organised into a communal society. Ruled by the Camden Council, Camden is a society where the citizen has their say. This does not mean they should be taken lightly. Their borough borders three of the most violent parts of London, and the pistols can protect themselves when push comes to shove. They may have their rough edges, and they may dress in a way that might make gentry monocles pop, but that's just how the pistols like things. Expect to see the famous high street with all the fancy shop fronts and punk iconography, our version of Cyberdog, the Camden Hippodrome, and also the station itself. Next we have Islington, home of the skinhead gang known as Miller's Men. This area is far more dilapidated than that of its neighbours, due to the lack of care that the gang has for looking after the place. For those of you that are unaware of what's so special about Islington, is that it is one of the most restaurant-dense areas in the UK, and actually home to Europe's third longest escalator. Expect to see many, many restaurants, as well as famous places like London Charterhouse, Farringdon, and Farringdon Station. The last of the areas I'll show you is Hackney. Hackney is known for its wide open green spaces such as Shoreditch Park, Hackney Marshes, and numerous football pitches. In fact, in today's world, it's known as a spiritual home of grassroots football in the UK. You should expect to see some artsy areas adjacent to hip neighbourhoods, the Shoreditch graffiti and street art, as well as a makeshift racetrack that comes from the famous Bike Shed Company. Next, we have some weapons for you, which are all going to come out in our Phase 2 release, so hopefully you'll be getting your hands on this soon, unless Prattle Dog gets trapped in Morocco again. Seriously. That happened. Bombs away! It's a little bit of fun that lets you throw some of the new Fallout London grenades around the Commonwealth, such as the MK1 Mills Bomb, the Tamesium Goo Grenade, Smokies and Bundle Nades, models by various, implemented by JDB. JDB has also been busy getting in a whole host of new melee weapons for the You Got License for That? Melee Weapon Pack. Halberds, Pipe Axes, Truncheons, you name it, it's coming. The fudge is that? It's me Bren gun. Ah, classic. Remember that Bren gun from the previous update videos? No, not the weird techno rave video. The one from March. Well, here's a little something Rico Gingers has been cooking up. Check out that jiggle on the ammo clip. Jiggles. Again. What the fu- <laughs> Lastly, we'll quickly zip some whip pictures for you to see. We have an updated and improved mesh of our bus. This big chungus is a work in progress and will hopefully be seen in our upcoming trailer alongside our WIP Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is a combined bascule and suspension bridge in London, built between 1886 and 1894. This bridge crosses the River Thames close to the Tower of London and has become an iconic symbol of London. I should know, I visited a lot. As a result, it is sometimes confused with London Bridge, which is actually about half a mile upstream, both the bus and bridge modelled by Edge UK 90. Another bridge we can speak about is Westminster Bridge. On some days, at approximately 1pm, naughty shadows appear along the bridge's pathways. Penis shapes can be seen, thanks to the decorative holes that run along the monument's adjoining walls. The more you know, eh? And on that bombshell... That bombshell! That's it for this quarter. Big shout out to all our fans who support us, especially those on our Discord. You're the reason we're doing this, and we honestly couldn't do this without you. If you think you've got the stones to help us in any way, head over to our Discord and send us an application. You might be what we need. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe, and remember, mind the gap. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please.